wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. Everyone to the Bailey Battle. Quickly. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> That's the bastard who let the attack at Scullis and killed my parents. An idiot! Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Taunberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what, then, do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, the Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Skalitz mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Ratzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Skalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then? that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tarnberg, and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzik Kobila is not here, 
and I have no intention of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. Good day to you. What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good Lord gave me ears, and I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed, but it was the Gutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad. These are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair, him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobst. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? So he could loot it? Correct. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favored it. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. Where did these Cumans come from anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said that they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalitz and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas' allies. Sir Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, 
Deserters and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. So, Robard, my parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad, but I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. God be with you. Mark my words. Heaven help me. Pull from Scalitz has gone and jumped in the moat. Raise the alarm. He's trying to escape. You men down there. There's a prisoner escaping. Catch him. There, below the battlement. Gotcha. Jesus, you gave me the runaround. Let me go, for Christ's sake. I have to bury my parents. You're going nowhere. Except back inside. If I don't bury them now, they'll be ripped to pieces by jackdaws and scattered over unhallowed ground. And I'm stuck here, a stone's throw away. 
All right, shove me. I'll pretend you caught me off guard and I fell over. I'll deal with the others. You just get out of here on the double. Kurva! Fuck! My ankle! Got you. Jesus, you gave me the runaround. Let me go for you'll go except me. But I have to all right, take me. Uh, that's a good lad. Bringing strange women. And if he doesn't like it, I'll lock him in the hen coop. So we'll have a proper appetite next time. That will wrap up his feathers for him. Maybe he should have done that a long time ago. Who are you? What are you up to here? Get out of here or I'll call the guard. What's up? Do you need some help?
Wait, Surrender! You You'll have to run. You're I'm weaker than me. Shout out to God. from Scullitz has gone and jumped in the moat. Raise the alarm. He's trying to escape. You men down there. There's a prisoner escaping. Catch him. There, below the battlement. Wait for me here, friend. Better to keep going on my own. It's like they've already gone. 